Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you have been watching for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of the Spear Gold Dot and the Federal HST. Uh, this is the Federal Premium Law Enforcement Tactical HST, and I really want to know if it's any different than the regular HST. Uh, this is a 50 round box. I got it for $32. The regular HST, the non-tactical edition, is $32 for 20 rounds. So is there really a difference? Uh, probably not, but that's what we're here to check. So we're going to load up five rounds, put it through the chronograph. We're going to use my P365X because uh, this is a self-defense um, am ammunition and this is a self-defense weapon. So. We're going to load these up, put five through the chronograph, and then check it out in the gel. Let's go. Okay, five rounds through the chronograph. You'll see that on this side. It says 1150 on the box. Probably get a little bit slower than that because this is only a 3.1 inch barrel. Wow, 814. 986. No, that's not reading right. There's no way. That's not reading right. That's at 420. There's just, there's no way. There's the zero chance. So that, uh... Nine I'm going to load up two more because I think the sun is messing with the sensor. But uh, 420, not, not true. Okay, five rounds through the chronograph. You'll see that on this side. It says 1150 on the box. Probably get a little bit slower than that because this is only a 3.1 inch barrel. Wow, 814. 986. No. That's not reading right. There's no way. That's not reading right. That's at 420. There's just, there's no way. There's the zero chance. So that, uh, 954, 970. I'm going to load up two more because I think the sun is messing with the sensor, but, uh, 420, not, not true. I've got two more loaded up because I had two that were really a lot slower than they just didn't read right 9. that was 10 11 9. and that was 413 so no just not reading right uh so the average of the ones that actually did were probably around 950 or so a lot slower than i thought they were going to be how will that translate to the gel we're about to find out Federal Tactical HST, the Law Enforcement Edition. Uh, when I ran them through the chronograph, they were a little bit slower than I thought they were gonna be. So maybe it's a watered down version of the HST, I'm not sure. I'll probably have to do a video where I really put them side by side um, on another day. I just didn't have any 124 grains at home. I only have 147 grains. So 350, uh, 365X, 124 grain, nine millimeter, Federal Law Enforcement Tactical HST through some new gel. A little low. A little low. But that got a good 15 and a half inches of penetration, and there it is. Really, really beautiful expansion. So 15 inches of penetration, I will take that any day of the week. 15 inches of penetration. You can see the projectile, you can see that beautiful HST expansion. Uh, it's just simply the best. So I don't know, I don't know what the true difference is between the law enforcement tactical HST and a regular HST, 
but these cost half the price and that was really good expansion really good um, penetration I don't know what the cavitation looks like I'll probably put that in the description down below because I'm probably not going to film a outro at home but um, really beautiful round I really got nothing to say other than Federal HST is probably tied with the Spear Gold Dot for best 9mm round on the market. There's just no question about it. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next video.